to the Pressful Conversation Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Layback Corey. I got my co-host, CG. Yeah. Uh, my co-host, Tasha, she, she's running a little late. She'll be here, though. But I got a special guest, man, a real special guest, man. He done built him a nice restaurant empire in here in the Motor City. He got good, 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 juicy, tasty food, man. My main man, Jim Brand. What's up, man? What's going on, Playboy? Good to be here. So tell us about this restaurant, Fat Daddy's, Chicken and Waffles. Well, Fat Daddy's, and it's Fat Daddy's Hot oh, Chicken and fat Waffles. Fat Daddy's Hot Chicken, hot chicken, chicken with waffles. the can't, spice on it. Right. Can't leave out the hotness. Yeah. We have five levels of heat. Okay. Um, okay. We go from country style, no heat, all the way up to too damn hot. Okay. Which is has ghost pepper seasoning on it. Mm, okay. It's not a sauce. It's a seasoning. Mm, okay. So, you know, you go to other places, they dip the chicken in sauce, mm. and that gives it the flavor. Our chicken's mm. marinated for 24 to 48 hours in a buttermilk spice mixture. Um, mm. From that, we let it rest, and mm. then uh, it is dipped again in uh, seasoned flour mm. and then into another milk mixture and then back in the seasoned Man. flour and then flour. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah. said you got – a few levels are hot. You got hell. Is it hell hot? At the, at the Too day? damn hot. <laughs> no, we have another one coming. Um, it's going to be scorpion pepper. You have to sign a waiver in order to buy it. It's that hot. It's one point two million on the Scoville hot level. So yeah. it's hot going in. Man, what and you hot trying to do? Oh, no. What you trying to do? Get somebody ass and reflexes, <laughs> man. What you trying, no, bro? Do? People, these people like to torture themselves. Mm-hmm. It goes in so hot, man. It brings them to tears, and but. They love it. They enjoy it, man. That's too hot for me. I can create it, but I can't eat it. I can eat a little spice, but I ain't going to kill myself. So you, I see you sell uh, wings, fries. Wings, tenders, catfish. Tenders, We've added cod. And it's all, you can get it any level of heat, everything. So we got hot fish. So our fish is seasoned the same way the chicken is. Okay. Um, so you can get it plain, mild. Hot, extra hot, or too damn hot. Okay. Any other sauces with them? Uh, no. no. Uh, you know we have the traditional ranch. Okay. And uh, but what where we get our flavor from is from seasoning. Season. Yeah. Uh, our sauce is an oil base that has see like about eight seasons in it, okay. and we dip the chicken in there after it's cooked. Okay. That's the, how Nashville hot chicken is made. Um. It's actually dipped back in the same grease you cooked it in, mm-hmm. but we add more flavor to it. Okay. So it's mm. an interesting taste, and it's a good spin on fried chicken. Mm. So how long did it take you to get things prepared for the restaurant? Like how, how long does it take you to get everything prepared, like get everything heated up and open up? You no, know? we can open in less than an hour. Everything is pretty much prepped um, uh, ahead of time. The chicken, like I said, is already marinated. So, and we mm. drop fresh. We drop to order. We don't, you know, right. cook it up. So, you know, it's been sitting there forever. Now, as you order it, we drop in it fresh. So, it takes about ten to fifteen minutes to get in and out. People get a little frustrated because we can get very busy at times, and mm. it can be an hour, hour and a half wait. Mm. But yeah. your food's going to come out fresh. Okay. You right. Know, we don't. You know, it's not a production. It has to taste good. Yeah. So you said, um. You make people sign a waiver for the... For That's the coming. The scorpion pepper. We don't have it yet, but oh, it's coming. Okay. When the scorpion pepper comes, you have to sign a waiver that uh, doesn't hold us accountable what's going to happen to your insides. <laughs> <laughs> like you did it to yourself. That's and horrible. you signed <laughs> and I got the paper to prove that you did it to yourself. It's hot, man. man. And like as you eat it, you're tearing up and you're just like... Oh. You should see people just eat like, oh, my God, this is so good. So, like, the, really? so the too damn hot flavor is the highest hot you got right that, now. Yeah, and that's budokan pepper or ghost pepper. Did you did you uh, send anybody out in ambulances yet? No, no, no. We do make, when we have new employees, uh, we have them sample. Uh, we take a tender, yeah. and they dredge it, and then you have to eat it. So that's like a rite of passage. Okay. Damn. So tell us, man, tell us more about this chicken cheese fries. Oh, the chicken cheese rice? It's, yeah. It's become a a, a favorite. Uh, we had a food blogger put together a video, um, 30 seconds. He did it on his own um, and put it on TikTok. Mm-hmm. 348,000 views. 
And that was on there. And that was just an item I created because I wanted something quicker Mm -hmm. um, that you could get that is a meal in itself. So we have people who order the chicken cheese fries. So we take the the chicken, we take the fries, and we use a special kind of fry that holds heat longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we take two big chicken tenders, cover it. We had our comeback sauce, and they're going to say, what's comeback sauce? Comeback sauce is a mayonnaise-based sauce that we make that has about nine different ingredients from uh, spices, ketchup, mayo, mustard. Mm. It's all mixed together. It's, uh, it's really delicious, and it's, mm-hmm. people dip their fries in it. Uh, we're actually coming out with our line of comeback sauces mm. and our seasonings, so okay. you'll be able to buy those wow. at the store. So what made you come out? What made you come up with the name Fat Daddy? So now I see you have a, a couple of locations open. You got one in on Fort, you got one in Riverview, Telegraph, and you also have one in Redford. But how did you come up with the name Fat Daddies? Um, it's so funny. Uh, when I lived in Philly, I had a restaurant called Fat Daddy's Ribs and Chicken. Mm. And I don't know, I just thought like a fat black guy. You'd be like, oh, he can cook. <laughs> well, what about, well, what, about what about what about what about skinny daddies? How about that? How about that? You I know? have a friend named Carl who always <laughs> talking about he's going to open up competition. <laughs> he's got. I'm gonna compete against you. I'm opening up skinny daddies. I'm like, don't nobody want that. That ain't comforting. <laughs> <laughs> Number <but> grease. <laughs> Fat daddies is supposed to make you feel good. You know, you sit down, you eat that food, and you really get stuck. Yeah, it's like good marijuana gets you <laughs> stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some good marijuana ain't gotta stuck you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be up and creative. And Corey know, got real quiet. Hey. Corey don't do none of that. He don't know nothing about that. No, right. I don't. No, I don't. But I do know how to throw down in that kitchen. Dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I know that's for damn sure. You know, I know I do know how to throw down. So I mean, I was reading this newspaper, man. Tell us about this <laughs> Corona proof hot chicken joint, man. How did that come apart? Now, that was just me uh, during the interview because. You know, we're in a global pandemic, and Fat Daddy's is expanding. Mm-hmm. Um, we we survived Corona. I mean, we we are takeout, so that was kind of in our wheelhouse. But a lot of people got exposed to us because a lot of restaurants were closed, mm-hmm. and um, that gave us an opportunity for people to come out and try us. Mm-hmm. And then once they tried it, they was like, "Wow, this is something kind of special," you know. But I believe that. Um, Food has to leave an impression. I mean, how many times have you gone out to dinner and be like, where did we eat at yesterday? Because it, it doesn't leave a, an impression. And me and my wife used to always go out and be like, oh, we're never going back here. Mm-hmm. Never going back there again because it doesn't leave an impression. So Fat Daddies is born out of necessity of not finding really good Food, where you can taste the fact that somebody took some time yeah. to put some love into this you recipe. Can always taste the love. Always. And you'd be like, man, like, I, man, I wish I could make this at home. Mm-hmm. But when you just go into Coney Islands and all that stuff, man, it's just basic food. They're not doing anything special. Mm. So it was born from that and, uh, and belief that we could do it better. Okay. Well, for the ones that's watching, this is the Press for Conversation podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Layback Corey. I got my co-host, CG. Uh, my co-host, Tasha, she's she's um she's coming in in a minute. She's yeah, here. She, she um, hung up in the rain. Oh, yeah. And But well, we got a special guest, my main man, Jim Brand. He's on the Fat Daddy's Hot. Chef J. <laughs> Kitchen. Chicken, Chicken and, and waffles. waffles. So tell us about this grand opening you have at the MGM Grand. Okay. So, um, during the pandemic, um, the vice president of hospitality came in one day and ordered food and introduced mm. himself to me mm. and gave me his card. And I'm, you know, hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so, about uh, four or five months later, he came back. Mm-hmm. I wasn't there. And he left his card and he goes, I need to get in contact with him. So, they gave him my email and he emailed me. Mm-hmm. And he said, Chef Jay, I just want to say, uh, we have a business opportunity for you. Mm-hmm. And I saw MGM and I'm like, really? I called him like immediately. Mm-hmm. Like, What's going on? And he's like, yo, we would really like to have a fat day. He's in MGM Casino. And I'm like, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Congratulations and we, on that. So, yeah, so that conversation started, and we started talking about it and found out what they really wanted from us. They brought us down and gave us the tour of their whole facility. Everybody was accommodating, and, like, they let us know that they had went out to several restaurants in the Detroit area because they're building a food court, but they wanted to specialize in a lot of local restaurants. And they said that our food was by far the best of all the restaurants they went to. Yeah, I was looking at that menu. I was like, ooh. That's awesome. I was yeah, like, man, damn, I'm kind boy. of disappointed. Ain't none of this food yeah, here right man, now. You could have brought us a sample. <laughs> That's saying, because I was rushing to be on time. <laughs> I didn't want to be late. And I got here early because I said, oh, Tasha's going to be there early. I better be there early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so so we owe y'all. So you know, y'all can come on out to the store. I'll and, be there uh, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. Well, they close yeah, at eight. They close at uh, eight. Y'all still gonna be here working. Oh so, uh, uh, yeah. So all right, y'all gotta. I, I, but we right. we really do appreciate you coming by to the show. But you gotta really hook me up with one of the banana puddings, man. I gotta have that on eight man. Yeah, we make that too. Oh yeah. Almost uh, everything we do is made in house. Well, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm, I'm happy, man. I might want one of each. That's the way to taste the menu. Yeah. And that's all you support black business, spending your money, brother. But you we know what? Speaking of, speaking of that, that's one thing Detroit doesn't. I want to know why they doesn't. Maybe they used to have a taste fest every year. Well, um, look, this is on West Grand Boulevard. They used to have taste fest up and down that stuff. You can walk down there and taste, get a taste, a sample of everybody's food. I don't know. I think that um, hopefully that um, more entrepreneurs come forward. And start like a revival, mm-hmm. a food revival, yeah. and yeah. and you know more people decide that enough is enough. We're gonna come out of the shadows. We're gonna come out of these. You know, we're gonna stop selling dinners out the back, mm-hmm. and we're gonna go mainstream because mm-hmm. the opportunities are out there. I would love to sit in a room with other entrepreneurs who's doing the same thing I'm doing on a different scale mm-hmm. or a different type of food. Yeah. Or, you know, I'm Southern. I'm not soul food. I'm Southern. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's the basis of and what you, I do. You did say Nashville, so that is Southern. Yeah, and they, yeah, do, they, southern. Do, they do not I mean, we have uh-huh. collard greens, baked macaroni and cheese. My string beans are made like your mama used to make them. You know, macaroni peach cobbler. You know, <laughs> it's Southern, though. Now, give us, give us a rundown uh, of the grand opening. How was it that first day you opened up? Well, we opened up in Riverview. It was crazy. We opened at three o'clock. We had a ribbon ribbon cutting ceremony uh, with the mayor, everybody in Riverview, and Riverview is not predominantly African American. Mm-hmm. It's predominantly a white community, mm-hmm. but they have embraced us, mm-hmm. you know, because the food speaks for itself. Right. Yes, it does. And the grand opening was crazy. And you have to understand, this was a concept in my head. Mm-hmm. So we go from concept to reality. So, you know, I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be smooth. Oh, it was nothing but the smooth was not it. Mm-hmm. We were so busy. We had lines for hours. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. talk about exhaustion. It was fun, but it was exhausting. Now, Redford, that grand opening next month is going to be amazing. Oh, man. Because we know what we're doing now. Well, I think the biggest grand opening is going to be hottest than one of the casino. Because everybody oh, yeah. likes to gamble and swallow Oh, food. yeah. You know, MGM's behind that 100%. So mm-hmm. that's going to be epic. We're going to have a good time down there. Can you, can you do us? Can you do me? Well, can you do me a favor? Why don't you get your, your, your little gluten free or vegan menu, man? So I can come and eat some of this stuff, man. I like to stay in my lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for you. Right. I, yeah, I know. I, I, know. I, I do what I do, but I, I am th- looking at a meatless chicken. And uh, to add to the menu, I have a sample. All right, my man, that's what I'm talking about. It's that that we can do it the same way we do that's the regular chicken, about. but it, it's yes. actually not a chicken. Plant so based. yeah, it's a plant based, and I tasted it. and It's not bad, but the only problem is I can't marinate it. I can't put all the flavor into it, but I can spice it up though. Yeah, so we're we're looking at it. We're trying to that's be inclusive of everyone, and then hopefully, you know, I mean, it just like now. See, I don't eat pork. So I don't really, I don't cook with pork either. So um, we do have bacon for some people. That's about the only thing we Mm -hmm. have. Um, But other than that, you know, I want to be inclusive. I want to give you an opportunity to taste some different things, Mm -hmm. um, to experience something better. Because chicken has been around forever. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Everybody's yeah. doing oh, it. Yeah. Everybody's got a Nashville sign out now from KFC. Uh, Taco Bell has a chicken sandwich. I'm like, that's not even part of your core <laughs> product. They did breakfast before too, so yeah, like they they will whatever is going on, whatever they think is hot, that's what they're gonna do. But it just seems like hopefully, I can kick open the door and other entrepreneurs will, will come up and be like, oh, I'm doing my pies. I'm doing. Yeah. I got a buddy. He talks about doing pot pies, but he's mm. just talking about it. Mm. Right. Know, what's, what's the What's the special pot pie about? He does. Uh, Crab, shrimp, what? turkey, all kind of stuff. Right. Pot pies. I'm like, bro, it. you, <laughs> you know. But you know, one week pot pies. Next week he's building the, um, he's flying drones. The week after that he's uh, <laughs> building, building. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going open to Arizona. So you know, if he ever decides to just sit down, he could probably do great at pot pies. Well, quick question for the people out there that that would love to get a chance to experience. Fat Daddies, uh, what are the, some of the materials you can provide for us out there for the people that's watching, like social media? Yeah, you can like, go to fat, uh, FatDaddiesHotChicken.com. Mm -hmm. We're on Facebook, Fat Daddies. We're on Instagram, FatDaddy.Detroit. Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, where else? Is that all? Is that it? Did I get everything? Yeah. <laughs> Talking to my wife. Yeah, you said a Facebook, Facebook a Facebook page. You got about six thousand followers. Yeah, yeah. holler, holler with that chicken that's cooked. You are gonna have a million, man. Yeah, we trying to get there, brother. That's all right. That's all right. Baby just steps. Keep, just but, keep grinding, man. Keep but, grinding. Yeah, we're we we trying to expand even further. We get going to look at another restaurant on Friday. So, yeah. well, man, like I said, keep on doing your thing, man. And yes, sir. We appreciate you coming through. We got appreciate that like you. And follow right there for me. We appreciate you coming through. We appreciate you coming to chop it up with the podcast. So we we really do appreciate you. So, man, like, man no, wait. brother, I appreciate you having uh -huh. asking me to come. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. Well, for the ones that this is the Festival Conversation Podcast, I'm your host, Mr. Layback Corey. I have my co-host CG. My co-host Tasha is be here in a second, and <laughs> <laughs> my and my the guest Jeff, Chef Chef J. J Brand. And for those out there, make sure y'all hit that like. And the subscribe button down below. Thank you. And make sure y'all check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all those endeavors. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace. Peace.